Yo, what is going on guys? Rexon here, back with another cringy video. Today I'm going to be discussing how to efficiently grow your inventory in Roblox Assassin. I'm going to be providing strategies that I use or have used in the past. Let's get right into it. Alright, this is a tip for all the noobs out there. The people who just started the game want to get their first collectibles, their first knives. Wait, hold up. The tone isn't right here. Hey, future me editing this video? Yeah, bro? Can you put in some, like, cringy, noobish Roblox music? See, I think that would be very appropriate here. You got it, bro. That's more like it. So anyway, there's always people in my lobby who are prestige 1. These people always beg for knives. They usually ask for a free exotic. Instead of begging for knives, just play the game for a couple hours. Learn the mechanics and learn how to win almost every game and exotics will be coming your way in no time. It only took me a couple hours of playing to rack up enough tokens to buy one from the shop. In conclusion, if you are a newer player and are trying to get your first exotics, I recommend just playing the game and trying to get good. Alright, so looking at my inventory, as you can see, I have a lot of one knife. Like, I have 16 uh, frozen solids, 15 ghostly cheers. Like, as you can see, I have a lot of duplicates. And a lot of people ask me, why? Why do I have all these duplicates of knives? And it's because I collect them. I have collections. These are all collections. These 16 waters, that's a collection. These 10 binaries, that's a collection. Uh, all these color knives are collections. And the reason why I do this is because people actually use or trade a lot of exotics for these types of collections. If you get like a hundred of one color or like let's say I, I get a, I have a hundred reds, I could probably trade that for like 30 exotics, something crazy like that. People are willing to give that much for these collections. So if you're ever browsing the shop and you don't know what to buy, uh, look at your inventory, uh, see what you have. And if there's a knife in the shop that you have in your inventory, go ahead and buy it. And you can try to start a collection. So, let's see. I have I have five tallies, all right? So I have five tallies. There's a tally in the shop. I'm going to go ahead and buy that and increase my collection. There we go. Uh, I think I have a collection of pearls as well. Yep, I have two pearls. So let's go ahead and buy that. Now I have three pearls. So that's basically what you got to do. You could also trade if someone has like a particular knife that you're trying to collect. Uh, go ahead and offer, uh, offer it to them. If you're trying to like collect exotics, there's no really point in doing that. Um... Honestly, just collect different exotics. See, yeah, I have like a wide range of exotics. I mean, I have a couple stacks of them, but it's not anything crazy like 50 of one exotic. So yeah, I'm looking at this guy's inventory. I see he has an energy fade. Uh, I'd probably uh, ask him in chat, hey, can I trade in a, uh, a common for that energy fade? I'm collecting them. And sure, he'll probably do it. No one really um, treasures commons that much. Y usually you would want to collect commons. Rares are pretty, I don't know, I don't think anyone would really want to trade for rares. I think a lot of people like to collect commons, and they would give big exotics for that, so yeah. I hope you're enjoying the video. Now that you have a decent amount of exotic knives, it is time to join the big leagues. There is an official assassin discord server that I'll be linking in the description below. There you will find a trading channel where people post up trades, they also show off all their knives, and if there's a trade that you're interested in, or a knife you would like to trade for, go ahead and message them, you'd probably talk it out and everything, and you would join a game and you would uh, make trades. This is what I do to uh, gain value and uh, make good trades. And if you're really serious about Assassin, there's also like value pools where you can vote if you want uh, a knife nice value to be raised or lower there's also value discussion if you don't know an op value you can uh ask what is the value of this what is the op value and then people would normally answer so people use the server to stay connected with all the updates all the news everything that's going on in the assassin community anyway let's talk about investments this includes demand values and op values but first you need to learn base values I will also be linking the official assassin value list in the description below so that you'll memorize them for yourself. Anyway, an investment is a trade in which you give more than what the knife is worth, hoping that the value will rise in the future. If it rises like you predicted, then your investment was successful. If not, then you lost value. 
Here's how to counteract failure. As I said before, each knife has an OP value and a demand. The OP value is a given value for a knife based off the demand. For example, the base value of a flame mace is 19 exotics worth. It has very high demand. It has 4 out of 5 stars of demand. So, the OP value is somewhere between 23 and 28 exotics. So an example of an investment would be me giving 25 exotics for a 19 exotic worth knife because I think it will rise in the uh, in the future according to the market and the demand. Only invest in knives that have high demand and high OP values and you will never have to deal with failure. Here is a good example. If I give 4 exotics for a 3 exotic worth knife, that is a better trade than giving 13 for it, obviously. So you have to think. If it's that low in the first place, then it's probably not going to rise that much in the future. So I'm going to overpay a little bit because I'm hoping that's going to rise a little bit. You will most likely gain a little bit of profit, but sometimes when no one likes a certain knife, uh, the demand would probably change from 4 stars to 1 stars in like just a couple days. And, you know, the value would lower and everything would lower and you would lose value on the knife that you try to invest in. See, this is a really complicated system. I'm trying to explain this the best I can, but the more trades you do, the more experienced you will be, and you would make better and better decisions as time goes on. And if you get scammed and if you make a bad trade, don't get upset about it. Just work next time, learn from your mistakes, and move on. So that is how you grow your inventory. You make good trades, you make good investments. A lot of people want to grow their inventory. You know, everyone wants to grow their inventory, but it never happens because they're constantly making bad trades, they're losing value, and they're going backwards rather than forwards. Hopefully I was able to help all the beginners who have absolutely no idea what they're doing, and hopefully I also helped out all the experienced players who are struggling. It is a very complicated system, like so much goes into it. So if there's any questions or concerns, please comment down below. I am going to be answering every single question that is asked. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Until next time, cringe boy out.